What is up guys, it is the Redstone Scientist here with another lesson of Mastering Minecraft. We're actually going to take a little bit of a step back from game mechanics today and talk about what it means to think like a programmer and what it means to think like, excuse the expression, a Redstone Scientist. So get your pencil and paper ready, open your textbooks, and let's begin. No prior knowledge is required for this video, so let's take a look at the vocabulary for today's lesson. We have two very important vocab words, syntax and arguments. So working with command blocks, and frankly working with redstone in general, are sort of forms of programming. When talking about command blocks specifically, we're talking about more of a programming language. Our programming language has a specific syntax. The dictionary definition of syntax is the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language. For example, in English, I would be using correct syntax if I said, you are hearing me speak. But I would not be using correct syntax if I said, are hearing you speak me. That just doesn't make sense, and it doesn't communicate effectively. If I don't use correct syntax, no one can understand what I'm saying. The same goes for command blocks. If we don't use the correct syntax, the game can't understand what we're trying to say. Utilizing syntax, I can create two different sentences even though I'm using the exact same words. For example, Bob thanked Joe, and Joe thanked Bob, are both grammatically correct sentences, but they mean two different things. One of them means that Joe is thanking Bob, but the other sentence has the roles reversed. So now you can see how important syntax is in English. It's just as important in Minecraft. A lot of what I'm going to be teaching you is how to use correct syntax in each command. Essentially, I'm going to teach you how to write in another language so that the game can understand what you're talking about. But let's go back to the subject of today's video, thinking like a programmer. In order to effectively use command blocks, and also to effectively program, we have to think in steps. Imagine an alien who cannot understand most words unless they're very simple. This alien knows nothing else about Earth. You need to break up what you want the alien to do into tiny little steps. For example, what if we were making a program to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, if we were telling someone in real life, we might say, get the ingredients and put them together. Okay, well, how do we do that? Let's break it down to its simplest form. Well, you walk over to the refrigerator, open the refrigerator, find the bread, take it out, place it on the table, find the peanut butter and place it on the table, and we would go on like that. Now, in Minecraft, the commands that Mojang and Microsoft provide us with are essentially the bottom layer of steps that we need to break things down to. So, for example, our program might automatically understand what walking to the refrigerator already means. We don't necessarily need to describe to it how to walk over there. In Minecraft, a similar situation can be seen in the slash tell command. The game knows how to display a message in the chat. We don't need to tell it how to access the client or target the bottom left of the screen or the number of pixels it needs to use. It already knows all that. We just need to tell it what to say and who to say it to. So remember, to think like a programmer, you need to break each task you want completed into its most basic steps that the computer can understand. If you're having trouble following this, don't worry, it will become clearer in future lessons. The slash tell example brings us right into the next point, arguments. Arguments are the portions of a command that clarify what action we want it to perform. They're essentially criteria that we need to fill in order for our program to execute the desired effect. It already knows how to execute it, we just need to give it some more details about how we want it executed. <laughs> to use the sandwich example, let's say Minecraft has a command called slash sandwich, and this command takes specific arguments. We can see those arguments when looking at the syntax guide, and we can see the syntax guide by typing slash help followed by any command. We could also see it by just typing in the blank command. So let's say the syntax for slash sandwich is slash sandwich target bread and PB, J, or both. So, Minecraft already knows how exactly how to make a sandwich, but it needs some clarification from us about what we want. Specifically, it wants to know 1. Who we want to make the sandwich for, 2. What kind of bread we want to use, and 3. Whether we want peanut butter or jelly on our sandwich. Argument number 3 will actually accept one of three possible values. Peanut butter, jelly, or both. So all we need to do is fill in the arguments. If we want to give a jelly sandwich with rye bread and give it to docm77, who will type slash sandwich, docm77, rye, jelly. So, let's review. 
In order to think like a programmer, you must break down a task into the smallest and simplest understandable steps for the computer or game. Syntax is the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language. Each command has its own specific syntax that you can find by typing slash help, followed by the command name, or just slash command name. Looking at the syntax will show you the proper arguments that you need to supply. Arguments are essentially a way to tell the program how we want it to execute a function that it already knows how to do. And as for homework today, make a list of steps that are broken down as to how to launch Minecraft. Remember, you don't need to say things like move the mouse down this number of pixels because it's not a universally true step. Try and make your steps applicable to any computer in your home. Most of what you've learned today is not only applicable to Minecraft, but more or less applicable to any programming language. But unfortunately, that is all I have time for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out the jam pack description for more science. See you next time. And of course, thanks for watching.